Alright guys, Tantra Crabbe back again today, have been enjoying your day so far, and today I wanted to talk about Shotzi's movement, and now he seems to have kind of broken the movement mechanics here in Call of Duty Black Ops Card War, no doubt he's been doing this for years in other titles, his Halo movement is definitely coming in to good fruition right here, and he managed to do some similar things in Modern Warfare as well, but wanted to run through exactly a couple of things that he's discovered in this game, a few of the crazy movements that, um, well he did in a video a couple of days ago, I was kind of mind blown to watch this stuff, and there's certainly a lot to be learned from in this one, but also some of the implications this might have four professional play and how gunfights might work out with Shotzi at the helm. Intrigued to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. Lucky if you guys enjoy the video, subscribe if you are new as always, I'd greatly appreciate it. It really helps out the channel. Thank you very much for doing that. First of all, this from Quicker, so Linny, Keza and Mooseman, going to be a team for next season in the Challenger side in the European region. We also get this from Zaptius and the North American side, so Gravity, Paul X and Venom are going to be a four-man team going into Black Ops Card War, so certainly Challengers is going to be crazy stacked. The amount of talented players we've got in the Challenger decide the season, some of which have formerly been in the Pro League, of course, the likes of Moose, for example, and then you've got all the other players that didn't quite get a spot in the professional scene this last season that are now going to be flooding the challenger sides with, um, well, a lot of potential fireworks on display this upcoming season. But a few months ago, of course, I mean, this is actually last year at this point, Hex tweets this out, what in the actual world these Halo kids, man, their movement is just gross. I remember there was a crazy clip as well from um, back in Black Ops 4 when Shotzi was playing Wages where he was on frequency, he did like a reverse slide or something down um, down one of the, the bits on frequency, did like a crazy little jump, got a kill, he ended up losing the round, but it was still pretty nasty. This was another one I thought was pretty cool here on Gunner Runner, where he you know, he's figuring out on the 13th of November 2019, pretty much just when the game's coming out, that you can do this crazy slide all the way through the vents here. Just um, just awesome to watch, and lots of things like this from Shotzi over his career. This was another pretty famous moment as well, when they were playing Atlanta Phase in the championship match, and, um, you know, well, Major Maniac tries to get the kill, basically, and Shotzi just shields him from Simp's bullets, Honestly, it was kind of crazy to witness the fact that um, yeah, he manages to just win the first gunfight, take out Major Maniac. His teammate Hook is defusing the bomb, and he manages to just cover him by going left and right, left and right on the bomb to make sure it's super difficult for Sim to kill him due to the aim assist. And um, yeah, honestly, it was just incredible, and he's done so many things uh, about this over the course of the season that uh, yeah, shots he is certainly one to keep an eye on. So, when Call of Duty Black Ops Card War came out, a lot of people noticed that he was doing this. I mean, Cockapedia pointed this out here on Armada Strike, and there's, uh, well, another, another couple of things that I'll share with you guys that he can also do on a minor stroke. But this was one of the famous ones on these lifeboats dropping down right here into this A-bomb. People are like that. How does this guy do this? Every time I try this, I just straight fall off the map. But there's certainly another thing as well that he's come up with over the last couple of days which can help you take gunfights. So we know in this game that slide cancelling is certainly a thing. As you can see here in Call of Duty Modern Warfare, I mean, he's just um, showing this off to the best of his ability. Slide cancelling around a corner, taking gunfights which are very difficult to win for the opposition because, I mean, you're just flying at them like you're immediately ready to shoot. And um, this kind of stuff works to some degree in Call of Duty Black Ops Card War, but not to quite the same degree as it did in Modern Warfare. And you can see the movement in this game was kind of smooth. I mean, look at these kills again. Just like slide cancel, slide cancel. Pretty disgusting to witness. But um, yeah, in this game, you can do it to some degree. It's not so viable. It's uh, A lot of the time, it's more viable just to run around the map. Thankfully, pretty much just sprinting is the quickest way to get around. I don't really like it when you have to do some stupid movement mechanic all the way around the map to actually be the quickest you can possibly be. But certainly in terms of gunfights, this mechanic can work to some degree still in Black Ops Card War. We saw yesterday, if you guys watched uh, the Illy clip, the Illy 1v4, at the end of yesterday's video, he used it to great effect, and I'm sure you guys are still finding some success with the slide cancel in this game, even though it's not quite as powerful as it was in Call of Duty Modern Warfare. But Shotzi has still found a way to actually abuse it even more so than it already is possible. I'll share a couple of clips here in just a second of him, well, going through and explaining exactly how you do this movement mechanic where you can slide cancel, but much quicker than you normally can. It's kind of like a crazy fast-paced slide cancel where you slightly go prone, then you stand up, and then you go for the slide cancel. And it, well, it makes it very difficult for the, them to deal with you. And also a number of other kind of movement mechanic uh, tips and tricks, I suppose, on some of the, the ladder mechanics in the game. And I'll leave the full video linked in the description box below if you guys want to check it out in more detail. And uh, another tip for ladders is that, you know, this is like the normal way to do it. You just do it like that. You know, it's pretty slow. But the easier and faster way to do it is just like as soon as you jump, jump again, and you'll get it, you'll get it there pretty fast compared to just like, you know, just normally climbing. You could do it with, uh, do it with that ladder and you could do it with the one, this one. You gotta go like halfway though. You can't do it like right away or else, you know, you'll just jump off. Just make sure you, ju you jump, jump halfway, and then you're good to go. Little movement was done in Black Ops 4. It was basically just called a long slide. No one really abuses it in this game, but uh, 
basically what you want to do is like you want to go into a prone and then right after you're prone you want to like get back up and then go into a slide cancel so it looks something like this and when you know you're doing it right is like when you see my left hand like go, like just waving basically as soon as you see that you want to get back up and slide you want to do like really really fast and basically it's just, it's like a long slide plus a camera kind of like a slide cancel but like different i guess so this is how it looks from the enemy's POV. You know, it's basically just like a longer slide, regular, more than like a slide cancel, how like, you know, you just slide cancel like this. But, uh, you know, it's not really used yet, but I mean, I can see it happening. So this video that he just made kind of reminds me of this that he made, uh, well, way back in August now, which is a new movement mechanic that he came up with. So there was this kind of idea that he found that he found. Don't know how he honestly finds this stuff, but if you manage to, well, go prone, if you come from a sprint and then slide cancel into a prone and then go for a jump, you kind of make this crazy movement where you, well, jump up in the air and it's very, very difficult to deal with. Now, um, this isn't quite exactly what he's discovered in this game. And this, of course, was just before champs, right? So I can imagine that, uh, well, these guys, especially Shotzi with all their movement mechanics and talents that he has playing the game day in day out like 12 hours a day or whatever exactly he does by the time a few months comes around into the game more and more things are going to be discovered this is only in the first week or so he's finding about like on armada strike i didn't even know you could run on that little platform along the side slide and the you know, kind of g slide or whatever down onto the bottom and then do the ladder thing that he's talking about to help you get out the ladders quicker i mean just so much stuff that this guy's discovered already in addition to this potentially game breaking slide mechanic type movements which might help in certain situations especially with the smg it's not super vital all of the time right because in a lot of the gunfights you don't have quite enough time to go prone then stand up and then go for this but um well it's certainly arguable that it may help you out and i thought it was interesting in comparison to what parasite has to say so a few days ago he was talking about how on this game the fact that there isn't really any strafe speed the ars move very slowly they don't have like stock on it like they used to back in black ops 2 for example makes gunfights very difficult to take if someone's on a head glitch you don't really have a good way of challenging them you can't like you know super wide peek out because you don't have stocks so you're not going quick enough they on the head glitch are just going to take you out very easily indeed but with this new mechanic right where the slide cancelling seems to be viable in addition to the fact that you can do this like super slide cancel as Shotzi is talking about right here that may make gunfights more takeable in certain situations and I'm sure Shotzi is going to use this to great effect in the pro league and what might Treyarch potentially do about it right do they even know like why this happens do they even know like why you know how it's even possible to be fixed and I remember like Aix I think talked about this um, you know, when they were doing like the pre-alpha testing or whatever some of the professionals were flown out to play the game he was like, just look, let Shotzi play this game 18 hours a day, just figure out all the movement mechanics and how to break everything, and then just fix it, Treyarch, and then we'll be fine. But some of these things you can't fix, and some of them, honestly, add to a degree of the skill gap, right? I'm sure you guys maybe felt, if you guys were a decent player in the Jetpack era, for example, that um, public matches on those games were just so easy, because if you knew how to use the movements, you could just absolutely destroy people and, uh, you know, fly over their heads and, um, well, take advantage of that superior skill in that mechanic that you had in terms of the game. So I kind of like the fact that there are extra movement mechanics which players that are very skilled can abuse and uh, well exploits to their maximum advantage sometimes maybe it goes too far the slide cancel in modern warfare maybe was an example of that but this thing that Shotzi's discovered here is it really too strong it definitely goes above and beyond a traditional slide cancel but um yeah it takes some skill to execute and you have to get the timing perfect and it's probably just going to separate some of the very best smgs and maybe assault rifle players if it's uh, viable for some of those gunfights as well in the game to those that aren't quite as good and that's always good to watch in my opinion from a competitive standpoint but intrigued to hear your thoughts of course in the comment section below a couple of things to finish off the video slick just pointed this out to me from Saints saying, oh, well, he did a tweet in French. People saying, okay, maybe he's uh, joining the Paris team, right? Because we looked at earlier today, Gunja maybe not on that Paris team anymore. You've got Acre on the team, you've got Scraps on the team, you've got a Fire on the team, and potentially Saints could be the fourth player there with Scraps kind of running the second SMG. Who really knows? I mean, Saints has been a very solid player over a number of years, but uh, yeah, probably looking into this one way too much as always. Thought this was kind of interesting from Aix as well, saying Battle Royales ruined creator class for multiplayer. The fact that we have so many attachments now in the game as a direct result from creator class and then well as things changing due to the battle royale but i think it could also be said in regards to bullet velocity right the fact that in this game like the bullets aren't a hit scan largely i imagine because battle royale i had to do that and introduce that mechanic as a result and therefore things might not be quite as consistent in the competitive arena but i'm certainly very intrigued to hear your thoughts in the comment section below hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did enjoy it or learned something new i'd greatly appreciate a like on the video it really helps out the youtube algorithm know you enjoyed this content other people like you may enjoy this content as well and 
help grow the competitive Call of Duty community. Thank you for watching as always. Take care. And I will see you next time. The way to do it 100% of the time is you're going to want to jump before you hit reach the end. And if you like jump late, you're just going to like fall off. That's just how the game works. You literally have to jump like somewhere near like over here. And then like you'll always get the jump. Even though it might not seem like that, you'll always get it. So it should look something like this. You know, it's pretty, you know, it's pretty easy there. Nothing too crazy.